If a criminal group can kill 3,000 of us in broad daylight and suspend the laws of physics and sell this to the people and launch illegal wars and kill over a million Iraqis and lie about WMDs in a premeditated fashion, none of us are safe because this is still in control whether we have George Bush, Barack Obama, or somebody like Rick Perry in three years in the White House. In a cage with invisible walls The wicked sight, guys of life Making grown men crawl On their knees, begging please Save us from the boogeymen Funded by the CIA Funneled through Arabian banks Like a shank to the neck They hit you from the back No sweat, ho check And watch it shake And take away your freedom You really don't need them When you're tucked away safe And protected by FEMA Then you must be a dreamer Like the great pretender Ask the second amendment Why I'll never surrender But I'll never plead a fifth When it comes to September I'm a yellow from the roof and expose the agenda yeah. Time to wake up and open your eyes To the matrix, this is going out To the troopers and patriots Living free and dying hard, speaking through battle scars An army of one becomes a global resistance Time to wake up and open your eyes To the matrix, this is going out To the troopers and patriots Living free and dying hard, speaking through battle scars An army of one becomes a global resistance Like I was chosen by God I was sent with a message To destroy the new world order And dispose of the wreckage I've been broken Broken and tested, reconstructed, invested, injected with truth. Now the truth has me restless, distressed and aggravated as I rally the masses. Out to make you see what I see when I wear my sunglasses. Watch me singing like a bee, but my name ain't Cash. When we confront the tyranny, give them 33 lashes of truth for the youth, for the red, white, and blue. Fuck the mark of the devil and the NAU. Bilderberg, CFR, keep your new world order. We'll live as free men or we'll die as free souls. Time to wake up and open your eyes to the matrix. This is going out to the troopers and patriots Living free and dying hard, speaking through battle scars An army of one becomes a global resistance it's Time to wake up and open your eyes to the matrix This is going out to the troopers and patriots Living free and dying hard, speaking through battle scars An army of one becomes a global resistance Let me tell you something, New Order, it's too late You can kill people like me You can shut us down, you can put us in prison But people gotta taste the truth And there's nothing on earth you can do To stop this information warfare migration it's time to wake up and open your eyes to the matrix This is going out to the troopers and patriots Living free and dying hard I'm gonna prove this and we're gonna go step by step And the first thing you're gonna do is write these two things down Operation High Jump And Operation Paperclip Operation High Jump and Operation Paperclip. All of these operations I'm always giving you folks, these are vital things that you should know. You've got to write them down. The operations are essential to all of this stuff. I mean everything. Because after all, these weren't just, you know, uh, classified topics, you know. A lot of them have been declassified. And in fact, you can get classified information, folks. You gotta go through FOIA. It's a pain in the fucking ass. That's why nobody does. It takes years for sometimes for some of them. Or you can, if you just know some people, if you call around, if you do a little research, you can get it for yourself. The average Joe can get classified information. Anyhow, I'm going to fucking prove this flat earth theory. And besides, I've shown you depictions of my earth. Because everybody's got their own. Folks, look. Snow globe. There you go. There's our earth, okay? Everyone see it good? There's your earth. End of story. They show you right in your fucking face. 
They show it to you everywhere in your face. And I'm going to show it to you now in your face. There's way too much proof of this. I hope you guys can hear this. A lot of this stuff is clips from movies. You know, you gotta fucking lay there and... Some people watch boring ass movies and there's incredible shit like this in there. That you miss. So... I guess I gotta do this clip by clip now from all the different fucking movies and shit that I got it from. It's gonna take a while. But I'm gonna learn you something today, son. Alright. Pay attention. Peter leans forward in amazement. His eyes have caught a sudden and unbelievable change in scenery. The universal white is turned to chocolate brown, dotted with blue. A cameraman goes into action. 300 square miles of land without snow. Land that might be in New Mexico or Arizona. Pictures alone will prove Bunger has discovered a warm oasis in the sh Now listen, we're talking about Antarctica here. And if, if you've seen the pictures of the flat earth, the real earth, you'll know Antarctica is the huge ring that goes all the way around the globe. Ar around the globe, around the earth. Shadow of the pole, the warm oasis in the shadow of the pole, the warm oasis in the shadow of the pole. It is for such supreme moments as this that men brave the hardships of exploration. The astounding, undreamed of fact is that they are over a chain of warm water lakes, whose shores, except for small patches, are free of ice and snow. Commander Bunger circles the largest lake in sight, five miles long. He comes in to make a landing. Water temperatures must be recorded. Samples taken. He finds the water fresh. The temperature 38 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay. I know you folks probably aren't getting this because you know the excitement's not in his voice or anything but this is an epic fucking moment in history right here right here that they are fucking keeping from you and we haven't even started the fucking the deception yet and already they're deceiving you on the shores are vast deposits of coal and of minerals of the utmost importance to civilization on the surface, there are vast amounts of coal and elements to the utmost importance of civilization. Bird leads his four planes in the long climb over pressure ridge areas, heading for the polar plateau. Heading for the polar plateau. 10,000 feet up. 10,000 feet up. Folks, say you're underwater. You get to Antarctica, boom, you hit the ice wall. There's a wall of ice there. 10,000 feet up. Have you ever seen the Truman Show? No fucking joke, folks. We live in the Truman Show. Am I Truman? Are you Truman? Are we all Truman? I ain't got that far yet. All I know is a, a deception on a fucking scale you can't even conceive of is going on at this point. Reality comes into question right now. Polar plateau. A plateau, for those who don't know, is a mountain with a flat top. 10,000 feet up. They had to take the plane up. Here they are, coming in for a fucking landing. Below are no land Hold on, I'm going to show you a map of this. Landing. Folks. Can you see the wall? Look, all this white right here. All the white. That is Antarctica. Let me find a better one. Folks, I'm not, sh I shit you not. I mean, what the fuck? This is in the Bible. 
look at the fucking thing, will you? Do you see over here? These are the ice walls. Ice walls. Okay? Let me show you folks a, a good depiction of, of things to come. These are the Illuminati cards. Look at the Flat Earthers one. People laugh, but the Flat Earthers know something. For their action, you may roll two dice. If your role is equal to less than the number of places you control, the Flat Earther's weird alternate geology has led them to a gold strike. And you may draw as many plot cards as the number you rolled. That's to that. NASA, the NASA card. Okay, NASA can give its action token to any other government group you control, as long as that group currently has no token. It may do this anytime except during an attack. And look at, look at the NASA one fucking movie studio look at the flat earth one ice wall ice wall that's the fucking that is what sit right there and this right here is an opening into the hollow earth which is where admiral bird was brought in there by a fucking tractor beam or some shit and look at you see the ice wall look at it watch nice nice wall all the way around and then you get to here and it starts breaking up a little bit and getting thinner okay Look at all the ice walls. Let's see them. Look, this is fucking. This is what it looks like, folks. That is your fucking earth. Ice wall. Actually, there is a way up there. Look, it looks like steps. Ice wall, ice wall, ice wall, ice wall. Dome, ice wall. Folks, we live in a dish. We live in a dish. Ice walls. Nobody falls off the fucking planet. Can you fall off the planet if you get on top of the ice wall? I don't know. I haven't been to the ice wall. This is all you need to know. And if anyone is going to question this, I will fucking warhammer your ass to hell. For questioning my fucking God. That is it right there. Out of the fucking Bible. Foundations of earth. Foundations of heaven. The pillars. This is hell. The sea. The deep sea. The deep sea. The ice walls. Mountains. Look at the highest mountain range isn't even higher than the fucking ice wall. There's the sun. Not 93 million miles away. Anywhere from 3,000 to 10,000 miles away. Windows and doors of heaven. You see, like little slots and shit. It's like that for a reason. The moon. The stars. After that, then is the firmament. The waters above. The waters above the firmament. Then is the gates of heaven. Then is the heavens. Then is the heaven of heavens. And then there is God's chair. Do you fucking comprende that? Now that should end my story right there.
as the person I am, I will fucking show you even more proof. So you're going to want to either, I'm going to send this video to everybody because I'm not going to send all of these videos to everybody all day and piss people off. You're going to fucking take it and you're going to do what you want with it and you can follow me throughout the day where I will do more flat earth stuff and a bunch of other shit. There's your earth. There's your earth. Ice walls. 10,000 feet at least. There's your so called uh, North Pole. And if anything, that is Antarctica. But folks, this is an opening into the hollow earth. That's a whole nother story. Now, what I'm getting into next is going to be planes. I think everyone's going to want to see that. Pay attention, folks. The greatest exploration flight of all history has ended in success. The greatest exploration flight in history has ended in success. A flight beyond the South Pole. A flight beyond the South Pole. Hello? A flight beyond imagination. A flight beyond imagination. Meaning you cannot conceive of it. I'm coming back with some more shit and now we're going to the planes and other details like that and the planes one is incredible another great deception I think I may also send everyone this next one because that is very important to this argument as well so I'll be back in a minute This is what Earth looks like from space, right? We are told that this was a photograph taken on the Apollo 11 moon mission halfway to the moon. Experts believe this to actually be a painting, while NASA admits every other photo in existence of Earth from space is a computer graphics rendering or CG composite using Photoshop to enhance. Hello, Eagle Houston, we're standing by, over. Eagle Houston, we, Houston, we see you on the stairwell, over. Roger, Houston, that's a verb of hell, Satan. Most amateur rockets or, or private explorations launched into space or above the stratosphere nowadays are all usually equipped with action cameras such as GoPro which all have concave lenses or fish eye lenses giving everything a curvature. Possibly intentional design, knowing what people may do with these cameras. Wow. After all, NASA can't regulate every amateur, like these guys who thankfully launched a rocket up to 125,000 feet with a camera that has a normal lens with no curvature. As you watch this clip, feel free to use a ruler or a piece of paper to verify the level of the Earth's surface.
Not convinced? Please enjoy these next set of clips, which clearly shows the clouds passing in front of and behind both the sun and the moon. Either our sky truly is a hologram, as some of these viewers suspect, or it is once again a confirmation of the biblical explanation of the sun and the moon under the firmament. Much smaller than the Earth, created for the Earth, and circling a wide pattern on the plane of a flat Earth surface, under a dome in which separates this dimension from those we cannot see. Jesus, what's this? Hey, what's that for a holy shit, hey? Hey, Alter, huh? Hast du's gesehen? Ich hab's gesehen.
Okay, you can clearly see clouds behind it. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. Clouds behind it. I'll wait for that big one. See if any part of it goes behind it. Okay, I see a big part of it going behind it. Okay, there it is. Clouds behind the moon, all right. All right, perfect. Just perfect, look at that. All the clouds are going behind the moon. Now those clouds are only a couple of thousand feet high, so that means this thing is only a couple of feet, a couple of thousand feet off the ground. Look at that, watch all these clouds. Just go right behind it. Okay, this is absolute proof that that thing is not real. And it's very close. It's only a few thousand feet high off the ground. And it's a hologram. Did you see all those huge clouds just go right behind it? The whole thing is not a real sky. The whole sky, those clouds are holograms as well. We're cocooned and these things are just making any kind of a sky they want. And people are believing it. I don't know what to do to wake them up. Look at this. All the clouds are behind that object. Uh, or, uh, sorry, hologram. Every single cloud that went behind it. Passed right behind it. If this is not proof that that's a hologram, uh, then it's just no use. People will be stupid forever. And I'm sorry to know that, but it's a fact. Only stupidity would uh, keep saying that that's the moon. Look at that. Every single cloud went behind it. Every one. That's not just one cloud. That's clouds and clouds. And the clouds are not real anyway. They're made up of these things. That's what they do at night. They go up into the atmosphere. Some form clouds and some just fly around the earth. They orbit the earth and cocoon us in here. Because they're so packed like sardines, organism to organism, entity to entity, and there is nothing uh, that can penetrate it. All the sky that we see is fake. It's not real. Okay, our whole life is an illusion. Everything you see is a lie, and it's a hologram, and it's not real. And that depresses me to, uh, to know that uh, everything I thought was something else, uh, it, it's not. And the moon is not the moon, and the clouds are not the clouds, and whew, nothing is like I, what I thought it was. It's just depressing. Not one of those clouds came in front of the moon. I've been holding on it for 10 minutes. Okay, so now it's cleared up. I'm just gonna go close one more time. See if there's any change and then I'm going in because it's freezing. Look how bright it got. Look at how bright it is. Can you take a picture of it or a video? It's so bright. It's hard to even look at. Even when I don't have the camera, it's so bright. It feels like I'm staring at the sun and not the moon. When it goes under the moon and yet when it moves away, it darkens back up.
Now, friends, if those clouds were in our atmosphere, then the whole tops of them would light up, not just the ones right under the moon. And then they darken as soon as they go away. But, you know, if the moon was shining down on all the clouds, then it would be lighting a whole bunch of them on their tops, not just the ones right under the moon. And look at that. You can see clouds going behind the moon. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. There's, there's the moon. Okay. Looky there. Huh? So, naysayers, please explain to me how that moon has zero clouds going in front of it while those clouds are going behind the moon and these clouds are lighting up as they go by the moon and darkening up as they move away. Okay? I just want you to see that for a minute. Oh look, there's a big thick one that's standing up that is going to go in front of the moon, I believe. No, it's going behind the moon. Well, for heaven's sake, what do you know about that? It's getting pretty dark for me to be able to get video, but ex except for right by the light, but I just want you to see how they're they're darkening up after they they go by. I may have to zoom in so you can see any movement. That's how slow these things are. Huh. Still not seeing much movement. Wow. Now you can see the movement up close. But look how... Look how as they move, they darken up as they move away. Okay? So that is definitely directly in the presence of the moonlight, not in our atmosphere. There is no way that those are in our atmosphere or they would be lighting up completely. Like what happens when we have regular clouds. Look at the ones above it. Oh, 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 look at that. Look at that. You wanna tell me how the ones a freaking above the moon are lighting up? You want to know why? Because they're not above the moon. They're behind the moon. They are behind the moon. I am astonished right now. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Those are behind the moon. Because look. If science expects us to believe anything that they tell us about the earth that we live on, then science should produce an accurate working model to prove the theory that was concocted 472 years ago and is accepted as truth today. Science should be able to build a large vacuum room, stick a magnetic sphere in the center of the room, pour water on the sphere, and spin it at 1,000 miles per hour, to show us how the Earth fits the model they expect us to believe. You say, it's not that easy, or it's a scale thing, or it doesn't work that way. No, but they can create a 17 mile long circular device under Switzerland that can supposedly show us the Big Bang and how the universe was created. Right. Open your eyes. Okay, I've done this for fucking years. Alright? And this is... I'm going to tell you what I've come up with. Uh, how about the ancient Hebrews, man? This is what they say it looks like. And a lot of people worldwide agree with their texts. So take with that whatever you will. 
Um, it's an amazing deception of the mind. None of us know what the Earth really looks like. We've, we haven't been out there. We haven't been in space. Folks, what you're looking at right here on the screen is your planet. Show that is hell. God said, the end days, demons and weird creatures will be coming up out of the earth. If you keep this in mind, and if you read the Bible, it's not hard to figure out. They lie horribly. They lie and are horrible at it. I don't, I, I can't even work with anything from NASA. It, there's just too much lying going on. Um, I've been told many times, and I've heard many times, that the only Earth that you see in any books, especially textbooks, it's the same Earth. It's just got, it's just in a different position. Like, they never take new images, you know? The only thing they do is they crop in and out the clouds. That's it. And if you look at some of these models, you can see that right away. Look at these two. The, the Earth is in the same position, just different cloud coverage. So... There's something seriously, seriously not right about this. Especially when NASA has been caught time and time and time and time and time again in their fucking water pools saying that they're at the International Space Station or some fucking place in outer space and they're really in one of their testing pools. You can see the fucking bubbles coming up out of their helmet. So how do you know if what they're showing you is the fucking Earth or not? Have you ever been in a planetarium? Folks, this... Yeah, that's how fucking far the sun is from us. 93 million miles? You really believe that? No, the Earth is anywhere from 3,100 to... Uh, I think like 10,000 or something. I forget what it was. I don't know. But folks, it's in the thousands. The low, low thousands. Like 3,000 miles away. Period. Paragraph. End of story. I mean, I really can't. I'm desperately trying and I just can't even get the words out. Folks, just go look up some flat earth stuff and come to your own conclusions. Listen to what everyone says. Question everything and make your own decision. Can you prove to me that we live on a globe? Yeah, I got proof. What? NASA photos? You think I'm gonna fucking believe photos that Nazis took? It's a commonly held misconception that the Earth is a spherical object that revolves around the Sun. But the fact is, of course, that the Earth is a circular dish surrounded by a barrier of ice that explorers like Andrea Barnes have been attempting to penetrate for centuries. Okay. <coughs> Trying to penetrate for centuries, meaning... For all that time, there's been somebody or something preventing them from doing it. The argument, for all practical purposes, came to an end when the Church of England was established by law during the 16th century. Church of England established by law. They rejected many laws of the ancient Catholic Church and... They rejected many laws of the ancient Catholic Church. The ancient Catholic Church of which was 
good of God. You know, not fucking raping little boys and shit. And all this Jesuit crap. To appear forward thinking, they embraced many radical scientific notions prevalent at the time. So then, this shit comes around, and all of a sudden, you know, Copernicus with his fucking ball theory, and all of a sudden people start coming out with these radical fucking notions about the earth and shit. You see how one person can make a fucking change here? Copernicus round earth theory. With this endorsement, the theory found its way into the schools, which were then... Hello? I mean, you got this fucking scientist. He's looking for someone to fund him. He gets funded by a banker, a bankster, and he starts progressing on shit. And the next thing you know, they, yeah, it goes into fucking books, and then they put it into the schools. Do you see how this fucking works yet? Trolled by the church. It has remained there to this day, and many children have accepted it without question. Yeah, he just said that back then the schools were controlled by the church. Hello? This isn't recent fucking news, people. If you imagine that this, this was the correct earth, you can imagine a plumb bob held here would point in that direction. A plumb bob held here would point in that direction. That means the buildings would be bigger on the top than at the bottom. Yeah. I don't know how many times I've seen videos of astronauts floating in space. And all of a sudden, you see a little bubble come out of their helmet and start floating up. What the hell could do that? Is it one of those orb UFOs or something? Oh, I got it. Maybe he's underwater. Did you know that they actually test? For fucking outer space and deep fucking pools. Well, look at some of the NASA videos they got. How many times do you see fucking astronauts with fucking water bubbles coming out of their helmets and shit? They've got an actual scuba tank on their fucking back. Yeah, folks, that's what the big fucking square thing is. It's a fucking scuba tank. You could find videos all over the fucking internet about that. And even fucking NASA astronauts admitting to it. You'll see Neil Armstrong saying he fucking... The shit where he was doing this, he said it was all faked. With one fucking light and a fucking piece of paper in a hole. Folks need to, I think, I think it's just the fact that it's the topic, I think. Because if people who don't believe in the flat earth just looked at this stuff for even five minutes, they would, could prove to themselves that it is indeed flat. So they're either not watching it or they're very, 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 very stupid. I don't know. I know where to get classified documents online. Uh, I think I would know a little bit. Fucking lemmings. The lot of ya. I will hear the story here. I'll hear it from you. 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 I'm not gonna fucking... I don't care. I will take all of them and put them together and make up my own fucking mind on it. People can't seem to do that these days. But what they don't realize is, is that it's not the Earth that's curved. It's the light taking a curved path from the Earth. Oh, cause I guess fucking people didn't know that light bends. Damn it! Folks, 
the fucking earth is flat, alright? It's flat on the bottom. And there's a fucking dome over it. Use your brain. 